so welcome to all of you in the last video lectures we have seen some problems on the multiple integrals we will continue more the problems of the multiple integrals okay so we have seen the simple problems okay on the multiple integral so we we'll do the same thing now here so evaluate 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 0 to 1 0 to 1 root of s plus p ds dt here dt okay solution let i is equal to this okay now you have to integrate with respect to x you have to integrate with respect to t now first we will integrate with respect to s term now see whatever the quantity is under which is the linear right if it is linear then don't need to worry directly you have to write the formula for to the power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 uh, upon the coefficient of uh, s also so this is what 0 to 1 i will integrate this what root of this one this is i will write this what s plus t to the power 3 by 2 upon 3 by 2 into coefficient of s but there is no coefficient of s it is 1 so just to write this is what 0 to 1 dt now okay so this is what 0 to 1 0 to 1 i'll put s is equal to 1 and then i'll put t is uh, s is equal to 0 so this is what 2 by 3 so 2 by 3 2 by 3 i'll put uh, s is equal to 1 now so this is what 1 plus t to the power 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2 i put s is equal to 0 now i have to put s is equal to 0 so this is what is t to the power 3 by 2 dt now okay so now again oh this is not 3 by 2 this is 2 by 3 because reciprocal of 3 by 2 is 2 by 3 okay again after the terms are integrable with respect to t because this is a linear this is what t raised to 3 by 2 is also integrable so i directly take the integration of this one this is what 2 by 3 to the power 1 plus t to the power you have to add 1 this is what 5 by 2 upon 5 by 2 minus 2 by 3 t raised to 5 by 2 upon 5 by 2 0 to 1 okay so uh, i uh, simplify this and then i will put the upper limit and lower limit so this is what 5 by 2 is 2 by 5 so this is what 4 by 15 1 plus t to the power 5 by 2 minus this is again 4 by 15 t raised to 5 by 2 0 to 1 first i put 1 so this is what 4 by 15 2 raised to 2 raised to 5 by 2 minus 4 by 15 uh, one only 4 by 15 because t to the power 5 by 2 is 1 if i put 0 then what we get if i put 0 so this is what this okay so minus minus okay i have to put t is equal to 0 if you put f2 is equal to 0 in the second term it is 0 so i have to put only t is equal to 0 in the first term so 1 to the power 5 this is what 4 by 15 only okay now this is what then this is equal to 4 by 15 2 raised to 5 by 2 2 raised to 5 by 2 okay then minus 4 by 15 minus 4 by 15 is minus 8 by 15 minus 8 by 15 is your required answer okay so the problem is over now okay so if you want to take 4 by 15 common you can take 4 by 15 common otherwise keep as it is okay so no need to take the 4 by 15 in common and common okay so if you want you can do this one next evaluate double integral over r sine of x minus y da where r is where r is x y such a that 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to y by 2 0 less than or equal to y less than or equal to y by 2 okay now region r is a rectangle is given to you solution let i is equal to double integral over sin is man where where r is equal to this okay so i is equal. i put the limit now of x and y now see this is what sine of x minus y is integrable with respect to x integrable with respect to y also so now this is a rectangle they have the constant limit so we can take a limit of x first so i take the limit of x first pi by 2 okay now limit y per y this is what 
0 to pi by 2 sin of x minus y both the limits are same so i write here what dy dx now okay so i'll integrate first with respect to y and then i'll integrate with respect to x here okay so i'll integrate because what sin is an integrable function so this is what 0 to pi by 2 integration of sin is minus cos so minus cos x minus y we are integrating with respect to y upon coefficient of y so this is minus 1 okay so 0 to pi by 2 we have to take the care of this minus 1 so dx okay so now you have to put x is equal to y is equal to pi by 2 and then uh, y is equal to 0 okay so 0 to pi by 2 now this minus minus become plus now so i will uh, i will not use the curly bracket here because this minus minus become plus now this is what cos of x minus pi by 2 minus because this minus minus become plus so it will be minus as it is you have to put y is equal to 0 then this is what cos x this is cos x dx okay so both cos are uh, integrable no need to do any calculations directly you can integrate this in integration of cos is just sign not minus sign because derivative of cos is minus sign but the integration of cos is not minus sign right so integration of uh, sine is minus cos note that integration of sine theta is minus cos theta okay so when integration of cos is plus sine so this is what sine of x minus pi by 2 sine of x minus pi by 2 minus sine x then limits are 0 to pi by 2 first i will put pi by 2 so sine pi, pi by 2 minus pi sine 0 sine 0 is 0 and sine minus sine pi is minus 1 sin pi by 2 is minus 1 or well, is plus 1 so minus 1 so minus then i will put x is equal to 0 here so if you put x is equal to 0 sin minus pi by 2 is minus 1 now sin minus pi by 2 is minus 1 and sin 0 is 0 so minus 1 plus 1 so this is 0 so answer is what 0 so answer is 0 okay so don't worry about that if the answer is 0 so it is the correct answer you will not get a mark that 0 now okay so the 0 is the correct answer next we we'll take next problem so evaluate double integral over r evaluate double integral over r y plus x y raised to minus 2 dA where r is where r is set of all x y such that 0 less than x less than or equal to 2 1 less than equal to y less than or equal to 2. Okay. You are given this problem. R is given as a rectangle. So, whose uh, x is what? Lies between 0 and 2. Y lies between 1 and 2. So, solution let i is equal to this. Okay. So, I put I put the limits now. Okay. So, I put uh, now this no problem for here. It will be integrable with respect to x. It is integrable with respect to y also. So no problem and limits are also constant so 0 to 2 these are the limits of x these are the limits of y that means i must have to integrate with respect to y first so now here the order is very important here you cannot write dx dy dy dx here these are the limits of y so you must have to write y here right and then dx because what the first integral these are the limits of x now here so last will be the dx now this is the integral with the dx okay must have to integrate with respect to y first because these are the limits of y okay so 0 to 2 we will integrate because all the terms are integral with respect to y without doing any calculations okay so integration of y is what y square by 2 plus x is constant here right y raised to minus 1 upon minus 1 because what uh, you have to increase the power by 1 you are taking the integration so you have to increase the power by 1 minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 so this is what 1 to dx now <coughs> okay so 0 to 2 uh, so i will first simplify this so y square by 2 minus x by y okay x by y okay 1 to 2 dx okay now see your lower limit and upper limit it is not 0 so what i will do i will uh, write in the curly bracket i will write put upper limit in the curly bracket now upper limit y is equal to 4 this is what 2 minus x by 2. If you put y is equal to then this is what 4. 4 upon 2 is 2 minus I have to put y is equal to 1 now. So this is what 1 half 1 half minus x curly bracket complete. Just I will simplify this and then I will integrate this what. So this is what 0 to 2. So I write only the single bracket now here. So 2 minus half 2 minus half 
is what two minus half is what so this is what uh, two minus half is three by two two minus half is three by two okay we'll check the sign which sign is what this is plus this is minus eight by two plus eight by two it's uh, in, this is plus so this is plus eight by two dx now okay because this is minus eight by two minus minus become plus plus eight huh? plus eight by two i'll integrate that this is what three x by two plus x square by four zero to two if i put lower limit i get a uh, zero so i will not put the lower limit okay because what each term contain x and your lower limit is zero each term is zero right so only i do uh, put the upper limit now so this is three plus one so this is what four so your correct answer is what four next evaluate the double integral evaluate the double integral x y square x y square upon x square plus 1 0 this is 1 minus 3 minus 3 that is 1 is that then 3 now okay so you have to double integral of x y square x square plus 1 okay now this is integral with respect to x integral with respect to y also so first we will integrate with respect to y and then we will integrate with respect to x now okay so this is what uh, i will write the limit of uh, x now 0 to this is d, uh, d a is there okay no problem so d a so 0 to 1 okay then what minus 3 to 3 x upon x square plus 1 y square dy dx now okay dy dx okay i will integrate with respect to y now so that means x upon x square plus 1 is constant so this is what y cube upon 3 minus 3 to 3 uh, dx now okay so first i will put uh, i will write in the curly bracket okay no there are single term no problem so i will uh, write in the open bracket close bracket okay so I first put x is equal to 3 now or y is equal to 3 so 3 cube 3 cube upon 3 is 3 square so this is what 9x upon x square plus 1 then minus so now this is what if you put y is equal to minus 3 so it is negative so it becomes positive now so again the 9 this is what 9 9x by x square plus 1 dx okay so this is what minus 9 we get right minus 9 but we have to subtract because we are putting the lower limit so this becomes plus sign so this is what then 0 to 1 18x upon x square plus 1 dx now now i can write this as what 9 0 to 1 twice x upon 1 plus x square dx okay now see the derivative of the denominator is at the numerator you know that the derivative is at the numerator then the integration is what log of the denominator so this is 9 log of 1 plus x square 0 to 1 now if you put 0 so log 1 is always 0 so no need to put the lower limit i have to put only upper limit so this is what log of 2 you may write ln 2 also right so your answer is what 9 ln 2 or 9 log 2 okay so you may write ln also it doesn't matter next evaluate evaluate double integral over r x x into sine of x plus y x plus y dA where r is closed interval 0 pi by 6 pi by 6 cross 0 pi by 3 then it is also rectangular. It is also rectangular. Now see, if you this is x into sine of x y, this is a product of two functions. If you want to integrate with respect to x, then you have to apply by part first now. So now this is what easily integrable with respect to y. So first we will integrate with respect to y. So solution let i is equal to this. So I will put the limit of x now. These are the limit of x 0 to pi by 6. X, uh, 0 to pi by 6. Then I have to put the limits of y 0 to pi by 3 x sin of x plus x plus y or x minus y x plus y okay now d a is there that means what these are the limits of y 
So I have to write dy dx now. Okay, so this is pi by 6. Okay, so 0 to pi by 6. Pi by 6. Okay, now I have to integrate this. Your x is as it is. Integration of sin is minus x, right? So minus of cos of x plus y upon coefficient of y, but there is no coefficient, right? So it is 1. So just simply 0 to pi by 3, uh, 0 to pi by 3 dx. Okay. <coughs> so first uh, I have to put y is equal to pi by 3, then y is equal to 0. Okay. So this is what? 0 to pi by 6. So minus x cos of x plus pi by 3. Then I have to put y is equal to 0. And I have to minus of that one. So this is become plus now. Plus x cos of x. Plus x cos of x dx. Okay. Plus cos of x dx. Okay. Now I will take x common here. So this is what i is equal to. 0 to 5 by 6. I will take x common. And I will write this term first. This is what cos of x minus cos of x plus pi by 3 dx. Okay. Now, this is the product. This is product. Now, if there, if there is a substitution, then we no need to apply the y part. Now, here what? If this is the x algebraic function. This is the trigonometric function. No substitution is available. So, if the substitution is not available, then we must have to apply the y part. Okay. So, we have to apply the y part and this is a finite integration now. So, we will apply the y part for the finite integration. So, L i a t e rho. L i a t e rho. So, L means logarithm. There is no logarithm. I means inverse. There is no inverse. Algebraic, yes, there is algebraic. So, we will take x outside. Right? And we will take the integration of trigonometric function now. So, that will be what I will write here. I is equal to. So what here? What here? I have to take x outside. Okay. And integration of this. What? Cos x minus cos of x plus pi by 3. x plus pi by 3. dx. And this limit is what? 0 to pi by 6. Minus 0 to pi by 6. Right. So I will write in curly bracket. Derivative of the outside the function. That is x. Integration of this one. Cos, uh, cos of x minus cos of x plus pi by 3 dx. And I have to complete this and dx. Right? You have to take the uh, derivative of the first function and integration. You have to take the product of that. Again, you have to integrate with respect to x. Okay? So, this is now x. So, this is what? Integration of cos. Integration of cos is sin x minus sin of x plus pi by 3 and 0 to pi by 6 minus integration 0 to pi by 6. This derivative is this is 1. Okay. So, just we have to integrate this is what? Sin x minus sin of x plus pi by 3 dx now. Okay. Now, again that is very uh, integrable. So, I will write this is what? If you put a lower limit here, then this is what x, 0 to anything is 0. Only I have to put the upper limit here. So, this is what? Pi by 6, sin pi by 6, minus pi by 6 plus pi by 3, see. Pi by 6 plus pi by 3. So, this is 2, 2. So, that is what? 2 pi by 6. So, this is what? 3 pi by 6. So, this is what? Pi by 2. This is what? Pi by 2. So, see, this is what? 6, right? So, pi plus 2 pi is 3 pi. 3 pi by 6. So, 3 pi by 6 is pi by 2. So, sin pi by 2. So, this is what? Sin pi by 2. Minus, I have to take the integration of this one. Integration of sin is minus cos x. This minus must become plus. So, cos of x plus pi by 3. And you have to integrate with respect to uh, pi by 6 to this. Okay. So, now this is what? Pi by 6. What is sin pi by 6? Pi by 6. Pi means 180. So, uh, pi by 6 means uh, it is a 30 degree. So, this is half. 
right? Pi by six, one eighty upon six, that is thirty. Thirty in sine thirty degree half. Okay, so minus one. Minus minus become okay. So we will write this part. First we will write pi by six now. So minus cos pi by six. I will write here to write the cos pi by six. Minus cos pi by six. Plus cos just we have did pi by six plus pi by three is what pi by two. So cos pi by two. Then minus. I have to put zero now. So cos zero is minus one. Cos zero is one. So and this is what plus cos pi by Three and the curly bracket complete. Okay. Note this. This is half minus one. So half minus one is minus minus uh, half. So this is minus pi by twelve. This is minus pi by twelve. Okay. Now this is what cos. Okay. So minus I write in the square bracket. So this is what my I simplify all these things. Okay, minus cos thirty. Uh, cos thirty is what root three by two. So this is minus root three by two. Minus root three by two. Cos five by two is zero. So this is zero. Then this minus minus become plus one. Minus minus become plus one. And cos five by three. Cos five by three is half because cos thirty is half. Okay, half. So this is what minus five by twelve. Plus root three by two, and plus plus root three by two. This is what three by two. Okay, so minus three by two, minus three by two. Okay, so you may simplify this or you may keep this as it is. Okay, so no problem for this one. Okay, so this is what this is not. A, this should be the minus. This should be the minus. Okay, so this is what then half. This is half plus half because what here? So cos pi. You this is minus. Huh? Minus of minus. This is plus and cos pi by three is half now, right? And minus sign outside, right? So this become minus half. Okay, so this minus half. So this is what then? This become minus half here. This become minus half, right? Because what? This is plus half, and this minus sign there, so minus half. Okay. So you may write this as what? Uh, root three minus one upon two minus pi by twelve. Okay. Only this is the way you can write this. Okay. By the way. By the way. Double integral over r x upon one plus x y d a r is your region r is closed interval one by one. Okay, solution. Let i is equal to this. Okay, so i is equal to zero to one zero to one. Now this is easily integrable with respect to y. So we'll integrate with this. This is not easily integrable with respect to x. So first we'll it is easily integrable with respect to y. So first we'll integrate with respect to y. And no problem for here the limits of x and limits of y are same here. So x upon one plus x y. I'll write here dy and then I'll write here x. I'll integrate with respect to y first. Now this is what zero to one. So x will be constant as it is. This is one upon your x is constant. So this is of the type one upon y. One upon d is a function of y. That is what log of, right? So log of one plus x y upon upon coefficient of y upon coefficient of y is x. Now see the benefit of to integrate with respect to y. So your x get cancelled in this, right? So this is dx now. So this is what zero to one. Your x is get cancelled, and then I put uh, your y is equal to one, and then I put y is equal to zero. So if you put r x is equal y is equal to one, then this is what log of one plus x only, right? And if you put y y is equal to zero, then this is log one, and log one is always zero. So therefore this is what dx only. Now we have to integrate log of one plus x now. To integrate log of one plus x, we need to apply the by part now. 
so it applied by far for the uh, this is what finite the finite integration okay so your one is the one is integrable function so your uh, one is the algebraic function we'll take one outside uh, we'll take the one inside because one is integrable we put the log because l i at log is the function we have to take the log outside you have to write the bracket here log of 1 plus x <coughs> then you have to integrate this 1 dx then minus your uh, limit is what 0 to 1 0 to 1 so I write here d by dx of d by dx of log of 1 plus x into integration of dx and then again I have to integrate this dx okay so this is a is the by part of the finite integration so this is now log of 1 plus x 1 plus x this we have to write this what 0 to 1 this is very important now here integration of 1 is x now this is 0 to 1 minus derivative of log of 1 plus x is 1 upon something 1 upon x and integration is x now dx okay now we have to integrate this now okay so this is what the i put x is equal to 1 here and i put x is equal to 0 here so if you put x is equal to 0 then everything is 0 i will put x is equal to 1 now here so this is what then log of 2 now minus this is what x upon 1 plus x x upon 1 plus x dx so how we can write this is what x plus 1 minus 1 i can write i can write this as x as x plus 1 minus 1 then i will write this as what log of 2 minus integration i will separate this i will write x plus 1 upon 1 plus x is 1 so i can write this is 1 minus 1 upon 1 plus x right here i get x but how i can write this if the uh, degree of the numerator is and degree of the denominator is same then I try to adjust the denominator at the numerator both are the linear your numerator is linear denominator is linear if both are the linear then what you have to adjust the your denominator at the numerator so we adjusted our denominator in at the numerator as x plus 1 okay so and then we can separate this so that you get a 1 upon something now it is a linear you can take easily integrable so now this actually x upon 1 plus x is not easily integrable so you have to split in two parts so that they become integrable now so this is what log 2 now we can integrate this word x minus log of 1 plus x this is 0 to 1 this is 0 to 1 okay 0 to 1 you have to write this is 0 to 1 so this is 0 to 1 so this is what log 2 minus i put x is equal to 1 now so 1 minus log 2 and if you have put x is equal to 0 then everything is 0 because this is 0 and log 1 is 0 so no limit is 0 now here what so now this is what uh, log 2 log 2 this is what 2 log 2 minus 1 become plus minus 1 so your answer is what 2 log 2 minus 1 okay 2 log 2 minus 1 no need to take any common or uh, you may write this word if you don't want 2 here you can write 2 shift here this is log 4 minus 1 only this but no, no need to do this okay keep adding it now Next, find the value. Find the value, the value of the solid of the solid that lies that lies under the under the plane under the plane four x plus six y minus twice z plus 15 is equal to 0 plus 15 is equal to 0 and above the rectangle or the rectangle above the rectangle r is equal to x y such a that minus 1 then they equal to x then they equal to 2 minus 1 less than equal to 1 less than equal to 1 okay solution we have we have 4x plus 6y minus twice z is equal to 15 so that means what twice z is equal to 4x plus 6y uh, plus 15 is equal to 0 hmm? so 6y plus 15 plus 15 okay so now this is plus 15 okay so now z is equal to twice x 
प्लस थ्री वाय प्लस फिफ्टीन बाय टू ओके तो वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू डबल इंटीग्रल ओवर आर जेड डी ए डबल इंटीग्रल ओवर आर जेड डी ए तो नाउ लिमिट्स ऑफ एक्स आर वट माइनस वन टू एंड इज वॉट माइनस वन वन यूर जेड इज वॉट ट्वाइस एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई प्लस फिफ्टीन बाय टू टी वाई डी एक्स नाउ विल इंटीग्रेट दिस विल इंटीग्रेट We will integrate this. Okay, so now integrate this. Zero to one. We have to integrate this to one. Your twice x is constant, so this is what twice x one. Your three y is what three y square by two. Then this is fifteen is constant, so fifteen y fifteen y. Okay, so now minus one to one dx. First we have to put y is equal to one, and then we have to put x uh, y is equal to minus one. Okay, so we will write this as what my zero to one. We will write in curly bracket. We will put x is equal to one now. So y is equal to one. So this is twice x plus three by two plus fifteen. Then we have to put y is equal to minus one. So minus twice x minus twice x plus three by two plus three by two minus fifteen minus fifteen. Curly bracket complete. dx now okay now we will simplify this and we we'll write in bracket so twice x plus twice x is 4x so plus 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2 is 0 so minus 1 become plus 15 so plus 30 dx so we we'll integrate this what 4x square by 2 plus 30x uh, 0 to 1 if we put x is equal to 0 then we get 0 so i have to put only x is equal to one, so this is four by two is two now, is two plus thirty, so this is what thirty two. So if your answer is what thirty two. You want value? You may write what unit two. Oh, this is what fifteen by two year, fifteen by two year, fifteen by two year. Okay, so fifteen by two plus fifteen by two. This will be your fifteen now. This will be your minus fifteen minus fifteen thirteen by five. Right? Okay, so minus. Your rectangle is what minus one, minus one to two. Your rectangle is minus one to two, minus one to two, minus one to two. Your rectangle. So this is what minus one to two. You have to put minus one to two. So this is fifteen now. This is what fifteen x. Fifteen x. Now you have to put x is equal to two now. Okay, x is equal to two. If you put x is equal to two, what happens then? So two square. Two square is the four. Four by two is two. So this is eight plus thirty minus. If you put x is equal to minus one here, so it is one. So this is two now. So minus one become plus. So this is fifteen. Okay. So this is what is the value will be. Value will be what? This is what thirty-eight, and this is thirteen. So this is what fifty-one. Okay. So your correct answer is fifty-one. Okay. We'll take one more problem, and then we will stop. Okay. Find the value of the solid. Find the value of the solid of the solid. Enclosed, enclosed by the surface, by the surface, z is equal to x x square y, x x square y, and the plane, and the plane, and the plane, z is equal to zero, 
x is equal to 0, x is equal to 2, y is equal to 0, and y is equal to 5 by 4. Okay, solution. Time is right because head is equal to you. Volume is equal to integration. Limit of x is what? 0 to 2. Limit of x is what? 0 to 2. Okay. So, 0 to 2. And limits of y is 0 to 5 by 4. Uh, z, d, y, d, x. Okay. So, 0 to 2. 0 to 5 by 4. Your z is what? x, x square y. x, x square y. D y D X. Now this is the product of two functions. I can separate directly. This is what 0 to 2 x dx. And this is what 0 to 5 by 4 x square y dy. x square y dy. So integration of this is what x square y 2 0 to 2. And integration of x square. Whose derivative is x square? Derivative of tan x is x square. So this is tan y. Tan y 0 to 5 by 4. Okay, so if you put 0, no limit is 0. So this is 2. This is what? 2. And tan pi by 4 is 1. So this is 2. This is 2. Okay, so I hope that you understand this, right? So how to find the limits are constant? How to find the uh, double integral? Limits are constant here. Okay, so we have seen only the simple problems here. So in the next time, we will see. How to integrate in the region now? Okay, in the general region is given. That means what right here? Limits of your y are limits of x are the if the, this is dy, then the limits are the function of x, and if this is dx, then limits of the function the, of y now here. Okay, if this is dx. Okay, in the next uh, part we will see how to integrate. So how to uh, integrate uh, on the general region? Okay, how to evaluate the double integral on the general region? Okay. So we will stop here. So I hope that you understand this one. Okay. So you have to solve all these problems. Right. You have to solve all these problems. All the solve problems. Right. So check the problem and solve independently. Right. So I hope that you can do this one. We will stop here.